Hi, I'm Dr. Kenneth Tian, and today I'd like to talk to you about picosecond lasers. It's a little bit technical, so I'll try and keep it very simple. The first picosecond laser that was approved by FDA for the treatment of tattoos and pigmentation is this laser, it's a picosure. This was sometime in 2016. Good reviews, a lot of clinical papers, and people started to ask for picosecond laser treatment. What's different about this laser, it's not because it's a picosecond laser, but because it's a 755 Alexandrite laser, different from the 532 and 1064 nanosecond laser that we used to use to remove tattoos and pigmentation. Let me explain to you why the 755 nanometer wavelength is important. Now this is the laser absorption chart. This is a graph showing the absorption of melanin and the absorption of deoxyhemoglobin and hemoglobin in the blood vessels against the various laser wavelengths. And to keep it simple, I only indicated the 532 nanometer, the 755 nanometer and the 1064 nanometer wavelength. Look at the 532. Very good absorption in melanin, so very efficient pigment absorption and pigment clearance. But also high absorption in the hemoglobin and the oxyhemoglobin. Because of this, it creates more damage to the blood vessels. Studies have shown that pigment removal with the 532, up to 28% of patients get post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH for short, which means that after clearance of the original pigmentation, new brown dots occur. The other problem with the 532 is its depth of penetration and it has a low depth of penetration. I'll explain this in another graph. 1064. Less melanin absorption, so slow pigment removal and you may need more sessions. But very much safer than the 532, it has less absorption in the blood vessels, much lower incidence of PIH. Now let's look at the 755. Good melanin clearance, much better than the 1064 and not as aggressive as the 532. Good pigment clearance and also not aggressive for the blood vessels, so less damage, good pigment clearance. That's why I like this wavelength. Now let's look at depth of penetration. This is the surface of the skin, from here to here, the epidermis, and from here to here, the dermis and the subcutaneous tissue. The various wavelengths of the lasers, 532, 755 Alexandrite, and the 1064. You can see the 532. Depth of penetration is very shallow, just epidermal, so it's not very good for deep thermal pigmentation. 755 Alexandrite, it can destroy pigments all the way up to almost the end of the dermis, so it's very good for mid and quite deep thermal pigmentation. 1064, the deepest penetration of all, it can destroy pigments all the way this path and it's also very good for deep thermal pigmentation. Another phenomena of the picosecond laser is it can produce laser-induced optical breakdown or LIOB. With the help of a microlens array, we can split, fractionate the laser beam into smaller, higher energy beams, 20 times the power of the laser that penetrates deep into the skin. And these high energy beams will stimulate the growth of collagen. Very good for treating enlarged pores, mild and moderate acne. It also gives a very, very nice radiant glow to the skin. Low downtime, relatively painless treatment, a little bit slower than the fractionated Herbiobiac laser, but for people who cannot take downtime and want slower, steady results, a very good option. Now let's talk about the nanosecond and picosecond 532 and 1064 medium yak lasers. 
the older nanosecond laser is 6 nanoseconds or 6,000 picoseconds and this is 450 picoseconds. The pulse duration is how long the laser energy is on your skin. So this is longer and this is much shorter. Because it is longer, there's more phototermal, more heat energy and shorter, less heat, more sound energy. The phototermal effect is very good for the stimulation of collagen and elastin. And the phototermal effect is also good for big pigment and big tattoo particles. This laser breaks up the big boulders into tiny pebbles and the picosecond laser shatters the pebbles into sand. Both are complementary to treatment. Different wavelength, more heat, more sound pressure, less adverse effects. So, every pigmentation is different, every tattoo is different, and every face is different. By having a range of different wavelengths and different pulse durations, I can customize the treatment for optimal results. I hope you found this educational video interesting. For more information, please visit my website at www www.ensoclinic.com and if you like, please press the subscribe button.